All right, guys, no doubt you have past leads from whether that's two, three months ago or maybe even a year ago. Now it's the end of the year. It's time to make an offer to those people. How do you do that? And how can you use patient capture to leverage all of these cool things that you want to offer to people? So uh, we're actually in a campaign. I'm going to build this campaign for a, a client. And uh, okay, we're going to hide this. Um, they've sent me an offer. And I'm going to walk you through that here in just a minute. But I want to show you where we're at. We're in the marketing tab. Okay, we've clicked on campaigns. We'll go ahead and do it again. Click on campaigns and then create campaign. All right. So now that we're in the campaign, we're going to go ahead and name this campaign. We're going to call this STEM cell reactivation, reactivation. Okay. And there it is. We're in draft mode. So all is good. So in order to build this, we're going to need some copy. We're going to need the email. We're going to need whatever we're going to say in these messages. So let's jump over to um, this other tab we've got here. So this was the offer that they sent me. They said they wanted to basically offer 10 to 20% off anybody who got started on stem cells uh, by the end of the year. Um, there is this rule, it's called the rule of 100. And basically what that means is any offer that saves a person greater than $100, you wanna express those savings in terms of money. So in this case, you know, 10% off of stem cell therapy could be as much as four or $500, depending on what you're doing. Okay, so we're gonna express everything in terms of dollars. Now, if it was less than $100 in savings, we'd, we'd, uh, we'd present that as a percentage, so 20% off, okay? Um, so we've gone through, we've written some copy here. I won't take the time to read that. I actually will put this exact copy below, um, so you can use it if you want to. Um, but in, for purposes of this, we want to use this to build our sequence. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to add an email. So add event, email. So then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in the copy first. And as far as as far as um, a subject line, you know, we're going to go ahead and say stem cell discount. I like question marks in um, in emails. Okay, so that all looks good. Um, what I'm looking for over here is I want to see how this thing looks. Looks like it's got enough white space between those. Now, maybe it's got a little bit too much. And again, we can come back or they can come back after and adjust that. Let's go ahead and take, yeah, I think we want to take a little bit of this white space out of there. Yeah, that's looking better. A little more aesthetic. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is put this on two lines. I don't, nah, we'll do it like that. That's fine. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and save that bad boy. And now as soon as the campaign is triggered, that email will go out, all right? Now we're gonna add another event. Okay, because we don't want to just, we're not going to get much with a single email. Plus, the reality is, is most people are going to be on text. So I'm going to go grab the copy here. Okay. So here's the copy I got. Notice the copy is, is written a little bit different. When you go through and you see this, um, you'll find out that the copy is a little bit different. Um, e text is just, people expect it to be a little bit more punchy. All right. Um, so here we've got, uh, essentially, yeah, it looks good. Okay. Pretty concise. One thing I do want to maybe add in here is emoji. So this is a fun, a fun little tool. Okay. So this is a fun little tool to spice up your emails a little bit. This is called Emojipedia. 
I don't know if I said that right, but basically you can come here and grab uh, any kind of, you know, emoji you want to make your text look a little more fun. You simply copy it. Okay. And then you're going to jump back over here. Let's see here. Okay, well, we'll just do this. This would be fun. Oh, I don't know why I put it on different lines. That's fun. Looks kind of fun. Okay, so we'll save that. Okay, now here's kind of where uh, this gets uh, a little bit more dynamic. So we don't want to send that at the same time. So we're going to wait about, we're going to wait five minutes. Okay, so this means that they're going to get an email and a text within five minutes, uh, within five minutes of each other. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to do that same process, but do it again because the chances of them seeing the first one, you know, we're just going to increase our odds of success by doing another. All right, so we've got the copy here. All right, go back over. So we've got the second email. All right. Yeah, we're going to need to adjust that real quick. Just looks a little bit more crisp, especially on, on uh, mobile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. Oh, subject is required. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Say question. That's usually a pretty good headline. Save. Okay. All right. Now that's thing built in. So the question is, when do we want to send this thing out? Well, in this case, I want to wait um, probably about two days. Okay, before we do this. Okay, and then quite frankly, I'm just going to do it again. I'm just going to go ahead and hit add event until I get, you know, three blasts out to them. And by that point, we've sent it out to everybody on that list. Okay. So once we've got that built, I'll come back in and finish this out here and just a minute. But once we've got that built, we're going to go up here and go from draft to published. Okay. I'm not going to do that now, but that's what you do. So you put it in publish and then you're going to go into bulk requests. All right. Now bulk requests, so a lot of the, when you get in an individual lead, they go into an automated campaign. If you want to send out your own campaign, you need to create a bulk request. And basically that's like saying you're going to send out an email blast, but we call it a bulk request because we're doing more than just email here. So we'd name it, we'd call it, you know, stem cell, stem cell reactivation. Okay. Select the campaign. It hasn't been saved yet, so I doubt. Okay, well, that was the previous one we did. So we'd click stem cell reactivation, this one. When we want to send it. Okay, uh, let's send that on Saturday morning. Go there. And to 7.40 a.m. All right. And then pick type. So here is where uh, that new list will be put in. So it's not in there yet. We pick the list, hit add. Okay. It's not going to let us. Okay. So we need to have that list. And then on the next page, there's a there's a green arrow that pops up, 
everything's ready. As soon as you push the green arrow, your campaign is live and ready to go. So hopefully that has been um, helpful for you guys. This is a fun way to set up all this automation. And, um, you know, there's another video, by the way, I'm going to link another video that shows you how to add pictures and videos to these text messages so they're a little bit more custom. All right, guys, thanks and see you on the next video.